Hello everyone, my name is Cyrus Hojati. We're at here at the Freedom Fest, the Paris Hotel. We are here with... Warren Farrell. Okay, and tell us, everybody, I'm subscribed to your YouTube channel, what are you trying to accomplish and the message you're trying to bring to the world? Well, in the 14 years I did the research in a book called The Boy Crisis, what I found is that in all 56 of the largest developed nations, boys were struggling. We were, they were behind girls in every academic subject. They were um, particularly in reading and writing, which are the two biggest predictors of success or failure. Mm -hmm. uh, they were committing suicide more. They were, um, the life expectancy has gone down. Um, the sperm count has reduced 50%. The IQs are being reduced. And so I wanted to know what's causing all this. Sounds like social engineering. Do you think many special interests are making money off of the results? No, I think that actually the, the economy, um, I agree with Jerome Powell, the Federal Reserve Chair, who said that the, um, that the, the single biggest danger, two, the two biggest dangers to the America's economic future was cyber warfare and the crisis among young males. And uh -huh. what I started looking at is what was common to the boys that were in crisis. And what I found that was that the boy crisis resides where dads do not reside. Mm -hmm. And so then I started worrying about what do dads do or not do mm -hmm. that leads to children with dads doing so much better. Right, and I, and I just wanted to point out, if many of you don't know, we've seen a massive change in gender and family roles in the last 50 years. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen people get married later. Mm -hmm. We've seen less nuclear families that are common, especially mm -hmm. since the 90s, if yes. I can remember as a child. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is we've seen women have, you know, you see more and more of them, this lifestyle of dressing the way they are, sleeping with X number of men until their mm -hmm. 30s, hitting the wall, mm -hmm. going to clubs, or they spend too much attention on work and school. And then you have men, one has turned into gangsters, mm -hmm. and then you have another type of men that have turned into low masculine soy boys, mm -hmm. and then we've reduced the quality of males and females. This means less family formations are formed. Plus, we have the family court system, as mm -hmm. you were talking with Michael McDonald, the mm -hmm. high cost of living, mm -hmm. uh, the welfare system, various things that mm -hmm. it encourages the results that we have today. Yes. And so, mm -hmm. like right now, you know, I'm 26, and it's just the climate of dating, relationships, mm -hmm. uh, all these things is not looking so pretty as it used to be, yes. especially yes. with the dating apps and all these different things. Mm -hmm. So what do you think make of that? Yeah, um, you said a lot, and a lot of it is very accurate. And so the single biggest thing that probably I've, I've found there is about 10 causes of the boy crisis, and the single biggest cause is a dad deprivation. And when dads are deprived, whether it's by the family court system that then um, discriminates very mm -hmm. um, completely against dads. Basically, moms have the right to children and dads have to fight for the children um, if the mom doesn't want the father to be involved. And that's a terrible system because we now have I, I, 10 chapters of evidence in the boy crisis with over 70 different um, calamities and tragedies oh, yeah. that happen to boys and girls when they don't have significant father involvement. My parents got divorced since I was 12. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I don't think if it were for my father, I wouldn't be living here in Las Vegas. So yes. my father yeah. can have a significant impact on and a lot of different things. My success in the stock market, he had an mm -hmm. influence on that too yes. during the dot-com boom. Mm -hmm. So. These are very important things. Now, just one thing is that there's a lot of people that suggest that gender destruction and mass immigration, as I spoke about this with Nick Gillespie about several mm -hmm. minutes ago, are two sides of the same coin powered by the welfare system. Mm -hmm. And as you know, these things are happening in Western developed countries. Yes. They're trying to change our population. Mm -hmm. We see this here in Las Vegas heavily. So do you think this is happening? Do you think it's a conspiracy or something? I, I think people, I, I tend to look at the world in terms of everybody does what they feel is best for the society, and but some of them do not see the unintended consequences as well. And I think it's very clear that the, um, that the welfare system that's made the conditions of receiving welfare money for a mother 
being ones where the ch the fathers did not live uh, with the mothers, that was one of the most destructive laws that has ever been um, mm -hmm. um, maintained because if anything, the law should have been constructed in such a way uh, that gave ch um, people more money um, if they had gone through programs mm -hmm. of uh, good communication to keep the couples together mm -hmm. and made every possible effort uh, to have the father and the mother um, in uh, Very important. Uh, uh, raising the child together. So I want to talk about something you probably have not addressed, many others haven't talked about you, which is just technology. Mm -hmm. So as you know, jobs are going to change through the technology. Mm -hmm. uh, this could have an impact on immigration, but also on family. So I want to be a developer, planner, mm -hmm. designer here in Las Vegas, push a button, a 3D printer makes a home, mm -hmm. brings the cost of a starter home down to 55000 mm -hmm. You can argue that it will reduce the cost of living and it will encourage more nuclear families. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, you have a lot of people that argue that it could result in a lot of job issues. And you have people like Mr. Yang proposing a basic income. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what do you make of that? Do you think our basic, do you, first of all, do you think we may have to impose basic income? And if so, if we have any sort of welfare programs, do you think we should encourage more nuclear families, unlike which is what we have now? So like, let's say basic income is $1,000. If you have a nuclear family of two children, mm -hmm. you'll get $3,000. Yes, yes. So this is one of the things. So, and, and then of course we have the advent of and I know this might sound crazy, female robots, I don't know if you've heard about that. No. Oh, oh yes, of course. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, I know. so what do you make of that too? Because do you yes. think this will start to change the game? Okay. Not um, just awareness or policy making yes. and so forth. I'll start with Andrew Yang. Um, I, I talked with him a few, um, uh, about a month ago on June 9th and um, there is a YouTube on my Warren Farrell YouTube channel uh, with uh, that interview with Andrew Yang and talked with him about the importance not so much of the thousand dollars per um, uh, family per month but rather the importance of couples communication and communication training to happen in first second third grade that's what will help boys and girls be able to listen know how to listen to each other and hear personal criticism and develop the fabric that will hold the new nuclear family together, not by mandate legislatively, but rather by desire. Uh, the, what leads to divorces is men and women being unable to hear personal criticism from the other one without becoming defensive. Then both the mother and the father feel they can't share their, concer share their concerns with, their, with the other parent. That leads to divorce. Divorces lead to the lack of the nuclear family and the, and the children often growing up without a lot of father involvement. And so if you are to solve the problem at the core level, it's um, communication training happening first, second, and third grade. But then you also have to do that communication training for the mother and father too. Mm -hmm. Communication <coughs> training. Yes, so that's the single biggest um, solution to the problem. Another, of course, major solution to the problem is creating a White House Council on Boys and Men um, because that will help people see that there is a need for um, for there to be um, to have men's and boys issues on the national agenda, a and lot it, of people don't like larger governments. Sorry to interrupt. Even Laura Ingram, after she understood who is a who is a libertarian, um, said an, on Ingram's ang angle to me, in most cases, I do not approve of any addition of government, but the need for bo the boys and men's issues to be um, out there um, uh, ne I, that needs to happen. I, I'm sorry to jump in, but I don't think Laura Ingram is a libertarian. She's a conservative, maybe libertarian on some issues, because libertarians strongly disagree with Laura and Tucker Carlson mm -hmm. on the border and immigration. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is, Laura Ingram had my good friend from Southern California, Arthur Schaefer from Torrance. Mm -hmm. You should look him up. And I can tell you, the interview did not do well, and I thought Laura didn't do a good job. But anyway, uh, very, very valid points. I want to thank you so much for thank this interview. You. Please, let's interview each other more on the radio or whatever you like, uh, because I'm 26 years old. Uh, we're trying to start a family. I'm an only child. Wonderful. We're getting in the dating market, and I think a lot of this is well interconnected with each other. Absolutely. Take a careful look at the Boy Crisis book, because that will really mm -hmm. set you up with the foundation of, most importantly, to choose the right woman uh, mm -hmm. to be involved with, because this, the, the choice of your long-term partner is the single most important decision you make, not yeah. only for your life, but also for your career.
Yeah, and you can especially find them in churches in a lot of different places. You can find them in a lot of different places, yes. Absolutely. Thank Very you good. so much. Very Boy Crisis, please subscribe to my channel. Take care. Very good.